Okay, so if you are familiar with my Instagram or my photos, you probably know this face. That's Christina Bright. Reached out to her on Instagram about five years ago, and we've been shooting ever since. Fast forward to now, she's pretty much my neighbor, so that makes it easy for when we have random ideas or we just want to shoot. Chris, being a native of Newark, has put me on to a lot of places to shoot and a lot of history and just little things like how to pronounce it. It's not Newark, it's Newark. I always like having a guide to show me around or a plug or a connect, a hood pass if you will, but also like just driving around and exploring, finding new locations for myself and just dropping a ping for a location on Google Maps or whatever app you're using to store locations for future shoots. Photographers, I know you've been driving or walking around and you see a spot whether the light is shining through just right or it's a color that you love and you just stop and double back. If you're with somebody, you might say, hey, stop right here or come back right here to this spot. I got to get this shot real quick. And that's exactly what happened to me. I was riding around and uh, just on my normal routine, I saw this blue door, this random blue door on like a garage that looked pretty much run down, um, but the paint was fresh or just really bright. But the blue doors are what caught me. They seemed like they were untouched, and, or if it was touched, I could just retouch it easily if these were digital shots. But on this day, I was shooting Polaroid. The shoot was only supposed to be a couple of minutes. She lived down the street, so I was just going to pull up and get a couple of shots. After all, I just needed to test a few Polaroids so that I can establish what I want to do for this next series. So with a little bit more time, we decided to go to Branchbrook Park. Um, but on the way, we had to pass this blue door. I thought about it twice, and I was still thinking, like, if I should reserve this door for a different shoot or whatever. But today, I was shooting with the SX-70, and it's a special camera. It's like a special door, and I'm shooting with somebody that I always shoot with, and I trust on camera, and again, that vibe. So, I pulled over real quick. We hopped out, and this happened. <sighs> All right, so... Got the portal right out. Where are we going? SX70. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe. Hey, y'all do it. All right, so we out here. SX70. Oh, I'm about to get the shoe. Press in the back. Do you kick these things away? Gentlemen, for me, thank you. Because <laughs> I damn sure don't have no shoes on. Yo, 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 Thank you so hey, much. Hey, hey, you so much. Hey, let's turn. I can help you. Oh, thank you so much. I wish you the best. Take care. <sighs> almost lost the, almost lost the footage because of spectators. It's cool though. It's cool though. He almost ran your shit. So now's a good time for me to tell you to go over to somebrand.com, my online store for original art, graphic tees, prints, and posters. You know, I used to get frustrated when people asked me to do a service that I could do that I didn't really push to the forefront, design when I'm working on photography, illustration when I'm working on design. All of these skill sets overlapped and I never thought about combining them until I got frustrated and realized that all of these things add up. 
and they all add up on my online store, sumsbrand.com. And if you use the discount code SUMS SUMS, you'll get 10% off your entire order forever. It's always a discount code on the site, and it's always SUMS. S U M S SUMS, SUMSBrand.com. All right, so by this time, I was already satisfied with the shots that we got on Sussex at that blue wall. The blue was perfect. It was a solid blue, had a little texture because it was a garage door, but it matched perfectly, or should I say complemented perfectly with what Chris had on, that yellow and blue. So I was satisfied. But given that we got this great shot or these two great shots here, I wanted to keep going, and we ended up going to Branchbrook Park, and it's fall. She has on yellow. It's a nice day, so no jacket for real, but she had on a solid yellow outfit. And I knew that when we got to the park, we would see foliage from the trees, and it was just so much yellow. I knew we were going to see reds and different, like, warm tones, but this was a little spot in the park where uh, you can walk down a path, and you'll see trees to the left, trees to the right, and it's like you're in a forest. So this forest was shedding leaves, and there was yellow leaves. So there's leaves in the trees, leaves midair falling, and there's leaves on the ground. It's crunchy everywhere you walk. That made for a really cool monochromatic shot because the way the sun was shining in the leaves through the little pockets of the leaves, you got a couple shadows and a couple spotlights. And Chris, uh, you know, her skin tone and her yellow and the quality of the Polaroid shot, it just made everything look monochromatic. At this point, it was just a matter of finding the one that I liked. Now, I shot about five shots of Chris. I called it down to four, and I had enough in the pack that I just decided to look down and shoot my shoes. So, shout out to Blue for these Jordans. These aren't just dope. So, with the exception of my phone almost being run over by a pickup truck, this was a pretty good day. And it only took about an hour or so to get all of these shots. These images are the start to a, a new series yet to be titled. Uh, let's just say I'm pulling up on folks with the Polaroid, so stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Thanks for watching this video. If you've watched this long, you might as well hit that thumbs up. You might as well subscribe and hit that bell for alerts for when the next video like this comes out. Follow me at Brian Summers on Instagram and drop comments below on these videos so we can have a dialogue and I can address your comments in the next video like this. See you later. Peace.